Crypto Renegade here again with another hardware wallet video for you. And in today's video, I wanted to go over a brand new hardware wallet. Now, I'm always on the lookout for new hardware wallets as they come out. Uh, and I was contacted by this company uh, to bring to my awareness of this new hardware wallet that is going to be available soon called the Cypherock X1. Uh, if you've never heard of it, it is brand new. It is not even out on the market yet, but it seemed interesting and different enough for me to take a deeper look into it. Uh, and then there will also be a special offer at the end if this is something that you are interested in pre-ordering. So stay tuned for the whole video for what that is. But I wanted to briefly touch on this because as you know, I'm a hardware wallet enthusiast. I've used every single hardware wallet on the market that is currently out. Uh, and I'm always searching for the newest and latest innovations. And what really brought to my attention on this particular wallet is it has an implementation that is very, very different than your standard BIP39, BIP32 uh, HD wallets in terms of how it's generated, the user experience, things of that nature. So I'm gonna briefly kind of touch on a first look of what this is, what my first impressions are, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Uh, and that way you can kind of research it yourself and, and kind of make your own decisions. But again, this one's called the Cypherock X1. This is both a, a crypto hardware wallet device as well as a full backup solution. This is designed to be sort of an all-in-one solution. Typically right now, uh, if you have a hardware wallet, that's one device. Then you have a metal recovery seed backup, and that's a, an entirely separate device. But you utilize both to protect your crypto overall. Uh, what this is aiming to do is to sort of give you an all-in-one solution for both protecting your private keys uh, as well as the hardware wallet device itself. And the way that this works here with the Cypherock X1 is it basically is a device. It's very small. As you can see, it's a USB power device. And it comes with essentially four uh, NFC-enabled cards that have an EAL5 6 plus chip. That's an extra certification uh, above the Ledger Nano X and other Bluetooth uh, level devices. But this is basically a way for you to have all of your private keys set up initially over four different cards. What that will ultimately enable you to do is utilize this and setting it up with a Shamir backup. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what a Shamir backup is, I'll leave the technical detail, a link to the technical details in the description below. But essentially what the Shamir backup is, uh, is this is a person who founded a backup system that utilizes, it breaks up your recovery seed. So if you have 24 recovery words in a seed phrase, it breaks it up into four implementations. And you essentially, it's similar to multi-sig where you only essentially need two out of the four uh, cards or phrases in order to restore your wallet. So that way it's not a single point of failure. It's actually very, very interesting. And they've actually implemented it on the Trezor device. So uh, uh, it's very different as far as a hardware wallet implementation that I've seen here. But basically what this does is this allows you, and they're promoting here, no need of an unsafe paper and metal backup. This basically is a solution where you don't need to have a written down recovery seed card on a piece of paper. Uh, you basically just need to have what they are called side cards uh, in order to sign and authorize a transaction. And then you can take these four different cards, put them in four different remote locations, and that will ultimately allow you to... Um, uh, kind of have not again not a single point of failure have it distributed here so um, some of the features here is it does have three independent wallet supports we'll get to kind of to the overall coin support in a moment that's one of the things I don't necessarily like about this is as its first iteration it's only going to hold three different wallets um, so essentially three different applications or three different coins with as many coins in each one as you want at a, at a given time uh, it's isolated cold storage, so there's no, you know, there's no Wi-Fi, there's no Bluetooth. It does communicate via another wireless method known as NFC, um, and there is going to be an iOS and Android app for management as well. But right now, it's just set up through a web interface and a web application, very similar to Ledger Live, but n unsimilar to the Trezor Online web application that you, requires a bridge and so on to connect it and use it. So. Um, uh, again, it's a small device, as you can see. It's 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 hard to see, but it's basically it's got a joystick design. 
uh, and it comes with four side cards. These are the four cards that are basically generate have have a pin, as well as your recovery seed phrase, your 24 woods distributed across the four cards, um, and it's completely air gapped. There's no wires, no batteries, nothing like that. Uh, as you can see here, as I'm scrolling down here, it does kind of show you the design. It's a four-way joystick for navigation. It uh, gives you an OLED screen for verification for you to confirm the wallet address. Uh, and it's a very small and sleek looking device, kind of a pill shaped. And then as you can see, the Cypher Rock, uh, or Cy cards as they're called, have a EAL 6 plus certified secure chip, similar to the highest uh, bank cards that you have on the planet now. Um, and they have, a, it's a secure NFC communication. So the way that this works is, says how it works is, for the recovery seed phrase, you enter your 12 to 24 seed phrase and a unique pin on the device. You tap the four cards as it's a wireless communication through NFC. Uh, on the device, this device here, uh, you do four different taps and you and it requires you ultimately when you're ready to sign the transaction to actually tap two of the four cards. It doesn't matter which ones, just two out of the four for you to authorize and sign a transaction. This way you can separate all four. You can give two to someone you trust, keep two yourself, keep one, 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 all in different locations and that'll kind of keep it distributed so that you don't have a single point of failure, which is really, really smart. And it's something I go over in my ebook that I wrote in, you know, on my website, bitcoinlockup.com. Uh, if you go to the website, there's a giant orange button in the top right corner. You can download that book for free. It's very uh, well researched and in depth, and you can download it if you want to. But, anyways, getting back to the first look here, uh, essentially, as it says, you're recovering your wallet. You fetch two of the side cards as you need. You enter in the pin on the device, and then you can tap the uh, the two cards on there to recover the seed. So uh, that's for that's for recovering and securing the wallet. Uh, the hardware wallet implementation, same thing as I said, it gives you one device. You enter in a pin, you have your four side cards that's uh, pre-generated for your recovery seed, uh, and then you it requires you to have any of the two of the four cards to be tapped to authorize or sign a transaction, as well as the security pin, so you actually have a triple layer solution uh, that gives you security as well. Um, right now, uh, you can get the this whole solution, basically the side cards, as well as the hardware wallet device. Right now, the pre-order is $99. You check it out on the link down below in the description. With my link, you're going to get a one-year free beneficiary service. I'm not going to go into too much detail on this until I do the unboxing video next month. Uh, but basically what this is, is it, this is sort of a membership that gives you a, a clean solution uh, for you to have a beneficiary service. If something were ever to happen to you, if you were to pass away or become incapacitated, there's a clean solution for you to pass your private keys and your crypto onto your loved ones. Uh, and I'll go more into depth than that on, on a different video. So um, I'm going to go ahead in here and kind of touch on the basic coin support. Obviously, that's one of the one of the big uh you know, things that you need to decide when choosing a hardware wallet. Um, you know, I, I won't go over this. We already kind of touched on the security, the security levels, uh, multi-currency support. So, uh, one of the, one of the, um, uh, one of the, uh, uh, coins that, uh, is going to be supported here, um, on, on this device here is going to be the Tezos for staking. Right now there's only one, uh, there's essentially only one hardware wallet where you can directly stake and earn Tezos rewards uh, without any third-party applications, and that's the Ledger Nano X. I did a previous video on it before, which I'll link down at the end of the video, as well as the description. Uh, but ultimately, uh, this is one of the newest wallets that's coming out here that's going to have Tezos support. I did speak to one of the founders and kind of went over the details of how that's going to be implemented. Uh, hold on just a second. I'm going to try to find... I, I had a you know, on the website here, I, I was able to see, okay, here's the currencies. So here are your basic, your basic coins, your Bitcoin, it's going to cover VeChain. I know a few of my followers have, have specifically asked for that. These are going to be all native applications that are supported. Uh, so you don't need any third party integrations to use them. EOS, ETC, 0x, Ethereum, our Cardano, Dash, Doge, Maker, uh, BSV, if you're into that, XRP, uh, Tether, the ERC-20 version, not the Omni-USD version, uh, BAT, Bitcoin Cash, TRX, Litecoin, Chainlink, and all ERC-20 tokens. Now, I just told you that Tezos is going to be supported. I just spoke to someone 
on their team and had an interview with them uh, a day or two ago. And that will be implemented on the first iteration here, even though you don't see it on the list of currencies supported. Um, so it covers a broad spectrum. Most most modern hardware wallets now are going to cover your ERC all your ERC20 tokens and these coins as well. So it's going to cover most of your bases unless you're looking for a very obscure or different blockchain that you need covered. You know, that's not under the ERC20 umbrella, which most of them are. So, uh, again, Tezos is one of the coins that I'm very passionate about and projects. And even though it's not listed here, it will be covered on the first edition of this wallet. So very, very excited to see how that happens. Just the way that this is set up is a no single point of failure. Uh, it has a Shamir backup system. If you go to the FAQs on the page, you can kind of learn about how this works. You know, why do I need the hardware solution? That's obvious. Why do we use a 204 Shamir secret sharing scheme? Um, it kind of goes over some of these questions about why they did this in a different way and how they innovate and how they're actually different than other hardware wallet solutions that I've seen, like your basic Ledger, Trezor, and KeepKey. Uh, this is coming up with new, imp new implementations and new ways to enhance security and to be distributed and, and be decentralized, which is the whole point of, of why we really got into crypto in the first place. So this is very, very cool. Again, this is not out yet. This is uh, uh, still in a pre-order phase. If you want the bonus, check out the link below. Um, but basically, um, this is something that I keep my eye on. Uh, I will be doing an unboxing video uh, next month when they send it to me. And if you pre-order now, uh, it's $99 for the first uh, first 100 pre-orders, and then they're going to raise it to double the price at $199. Uh, and then I, I believe I, the first pre-orders are going to be delivered uh, in starting in April with mass production coming out in May and June. So the sooner you order, the sooner you're going to get it. It's a first come first serve. Uh, but this is a very, very interesting wallet uh, that kind of came to my attention. So wanted to bring it as a kind of my first impressions. I, I don't like the fact, like I said, that it, that it only supports three wallets, but most new wallets need time to develop and grow uh, and start adding support and receiving feedback from the community. So uh, overall, I you know I'd say that this is very this is different enough for me to be very interested, uh, and in terms of the implementation and the security, so can't wait to show you guys the unboxing video. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this wallet, uh, I did have an interview with one of the founders, so uh, leave it down below in the comments. Uh, if you're new to the channel but you are curious about how to properly secure your crypto, cold storage, hardware wallets, recovery seed backups, things of that nature, go ahead and subscribe. And then if you liked the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. As much feedback as possible would be appreciated. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. Crypto Renegade out.